I'll see you later. Be safe. Bye. Just got to Cameron Park in Waco. About to um, probably not get a full practice on him because it is crazy windy and cold. It's uh, 41 degrees and like 30 mile an hour winds. But we are playing the full 23 hole layout and I haven't played the back um, like five holes that we normally skip for straddle in probably three years. So I'm definitely gonna at least go play those. Hopefully get in a few more holes if I can handle it. But I'm excited. There's five in my division. I'm playing FA2. I realized I have won four out of the five tournaments that I've played in Waco on these courses. The last time I played here was like a little C tier just at the Beast and I did play very, very bad. Um, but I'm hoping the confidence that I've had over the other four tournaments will just carry on to this event with me. to the <laughs> officially rolled my ankle to the part of the course that I haven't played in a few years till like five or ten I think um yeah I'm excited to play it the temperature is not nearly as bad as I expected it is windy and my hands are cold but everything else like temperature wise is fine so I guess as long as it's in the 40s or above I'm good too bad it's gonna be like 32 when we see off in the morning I love these little holes. Actually, the last time I played, well, not the last time, yeah, the last time I played all these holes was with Seppo and Vino after Waco three years ago. I love these shorty holes because they're like finessey. Anyways, so in 2019, I came to Waco to spectate, um, like one half round, round, and I was gonna meet up with Drew Gibson, Devin Owens after their last rounds in Austin so we could go get tattoos, which we did. Um, that's actually the last tattoo I got, so I'm definitely overdue. Anyways, while I was waiting for Devin and Drew to get done doing whatever after their rounds, I came over here to Cameron. It's only my second time ever to play it. Sorry, I'm out of breath. That's where I'm not out of shape. I ran six miles straight two weekends ago. Um, anyways, so I came over to Cameron and I get to hole one and I was already signed up for Tooney to play Tooney in Finland. And I see Seppo and Vino. I was just like, hey, what's up? And then I was kind of talking to them about Finland. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here for a minute because I'm hoping that guy will catch up and play through. Anyway, so I was just like, hey, I'm playing Finland, playing Tooney this year, like any tips? What's the weather gonna be like? Windy, whatever. Seppo's like, Tooney means calm and finish, but the weather usually is anything but that. I was like, okay, good to know. So they had never played Cameron Park before and he's like, do you wanna play with us? Mind you, I'm like 670 rated or something. So I'm like, no, that's okay. Like, I'm gonna slow y'all down. Like, no. And he's like, well, we don't know the course and you know the layout, so just come with us. And I was like, okay, fine. So I played with him and that was actually one of the best rounds I've ever played out here. That was really cool. And then I left and then headed to Austin and then went and got tattoos with Drew and Devin, which was fun. Um, and that was like my first big disc golf event other than like the tournaments I'd played. But it was just like, just such a like cool weekend that I got to experience so much being so new to the game. And um, yeah, so Waco just really is like, really a special place. Um, so I just really love playing in Waco and it's just always a good time. So I can't wait to see what's gonna happen this year. Last time I played this hole was when I realized like, okay, I have improved because where I was landing on the fairway, like I had like a circle's edge look last time and used to, I was like way over here, like, Highs are in it over there. So that was really cool. And I also have a video of Seppo throwing off this hole. I'll have to like 
put it up there. <laughs> but yeah, um, park sounds going good. Like I said, it's not as cold as I expected it to be. So on the other side of the street is the Waco Zoo. And I don't know if this used to be Zooland also. It's really cool. I just like to imagine this was part of the zoo. It probably wasn't. If anybody knows, let me know. This is my normal look. The hyzer flip that flips too much puts me right out here outside a circle with that thing in the way. And I just made the most beautiful hyzer flip for Birdie. Go me! This win. I love the Waco flags. Feels so official. Finished in the dark, but that's okay. About to leave Waco, but first I'm gonna stop at Tractor Supply. Hopefully they have vet wrap. I'm sure I could use normal sports tape for my um, foot that's still messed up from the 10K. I used the vet wrap the other day and it just worked so much better and it's probably way cheaper. So I'm gonna go try to run by there, see if they have any, and then I'm gonna find a Walmart somewhere and get stuff for um, to do like an ice bath again for my feet. So Epsom salts and maybe like a little foot deal because I forgot my Epsom salts at home and I want my foot to be all good for tomorrow. You know there's a big tournament nearby when you see a disc golfer outside of Planet Fitness. Jackpot. Just got to my room. It's in Temple. It's gonna be like a 35, 40 minute drive in the morning. Oh well. Got everything pretty much unpacked. Got my new flight towel blanket. I went to HB. Naturally, I had to get my tailgate trio because my favorite. I got like mini breakfast sandwiches. They have breakfast here, but sometimes, well, I probably have to leave before breakfast. Anyways, so we got some sandies. Um, fully stocked with my meal prep. All the Dr. Peppers. Um, I got the horseshoe one because I figured maybe that would be lucky. These are probably going to be gross. But I had to try H-E-B vanilla milkshake wavy potato chips. Okay, so I also got... Some Dr. Teal's, which I have some at home, but I'm on the stout, but this is pre and post workout one. Power Soak. And then I got the Dr. Teal's foot cream because I'm out of foot cream, actually. And I got this for $2 because I needed something to soak my feet in. So that's that. About to eat my sushi, do some editing, and soak shower, go to sleep. All the ice melted, but oh my God, it's so cold. I don't know how people do their whole bodies, honestly. I've sneezed at least 10 times in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> What is wrong with me? I swear sometimes when I take my allergy medicine, like it makes it worse. I don't understand. So this is gonna be our whole one today, which is weird, 21. And we'll go 22, 23, one. So my round went decent. Um, Except this, I, oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with me. I took my Oliver this morning as like a just preventative allergy medication. And I swear it had the reverse effect. And there was one other time that I, or like another time or two I took it where I think it had a reverse effect. So literally all round, 
I was sneezing. There was one hole on the back uh, half where I literally sneezed eight times before I got to my second shot. I had a few holes on the back half where like my eyes just started running when I was trying to putt. So I missed like these super, not super, super short, but you know, like very makeable putts. Um, I'm miserable. Like my nose is killing me. I'm just, I don't know. So I'm about to go take some Benadryl and probably just sleep in the car until the players party because I'm like my sinuses, everything from here down hurts so bad. I've never experienced like allergies like this. Uh, Still feel like death. I went to HEB and got in a drill and this. Oh, oops. Sinus, uh, Vicks. I don't know. I just need a nose spray. And that one freaking burned. I went to Fuzzy's. I was waiting in line to get food and I actually thought I had a nosebleed. So I rushed to the bathroom and it was just like clear fluid just coming out of my nose. Um, which is probably too, ima too much information for some of y'all, but I have no filter, so. Um, so I might be dying, I don't know. I'm gonna try to at least uh, survive until after my round Monday. But yeah, I'm struggling. like. I'm I went to Fuzzy's, I'm gonna eat in the car, got my favorite queso ever, shrimp and gelada, cheese and gelada, and then I'm gonna try to take a nap before the players party. And this is the worst part about going, staying all the way in Temple, where the tournament's here, It's because I just wanna sleep and I'm gonna have to take a nap in my car now. Unless I wanna drive 30 miles there, 30 miles back for the players party, because I really don't wanna miss players party. But if I still feel like garbage after my nap, I'm just going straight back and resting. <laughs> it's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Got it good. Okay. Good, buddy. Have a great time, guys. Here's the Magnolia Silos. You gotta check it out if you're ever in Waco and you've never been. So I was at Cameron, but I was there like an hour and a half early. So I had to run to the bathroom at a gas station because I was there was no parking close to the bathroom. And it turns out I'm right by this uh, little nine hole Dewey Park. So I'm gonna play here for a warm up. It's super windy today, probably like 25 mile an hour plus in some instances. So I figured I'd get out here, practice a few holes, warm up out here on a real course, and then head back over for my 3.30 p.m. tea time. Now for the old. When I got to Dewey, um, one of the other girls that I played with all day yesterday, she had just got there too. So we played Dewey together for a little warm up practice round. It is now 3.05 and I'm back at Cameron and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm definitely feeling better than yesterday because yesterday I was dying of my whatever allergic reaction I had all around. I have a three stroke lead going into today, but anything can happen out here. We do have 23 holes to get through, so yeah. I'll let y'all know how it goes. If you play with Montana, you get dinosaurs. That's my favorite color. Waco Wind. I'm so tired. Ah, okay, I would like to apologize to everyone who watches my videos in hopes of seeing whatever cool food I'm eating. Because I'm telling you, when I'm in Waco, it's not it. I, um, I don't know why when I'm in Waco, I'm like a creature of habit. And I never try to find cool food. There's a fuzzy taco shop like 10 minutes from Cameron Park. And I love Fuzzy's queso, it's my favorite queso. So yeah, sorry, because I'm just not exciting when I'm in Waco. And tonight, because we played our second round at Cameron, 23 holes, and it was just mentally exhausting because I did so bad on the front half that I was like so focused on not messing up on the back half that like my brain was fried. So I went back to HEB and got more HEB sushi, but I got the crunchy temptation roll and then I got the tempura bowl. And then I've seen these before, but I've never gotten them. They have 
crab rangoons. So this one is the crab rangoon, and this one is the cream cheese rangoon. And they're not gonna be phenomenal because they don't have an oven. But it says you can heat them in the microwave, so yeah, could be worse. All right, my rolls, my sauces. Got two of these, one and a half of those. My red pepper zero, water. Still haven't tried those chips. Myself to do it. I definitely burnt that one. These are okay. They're just gonna be soggy, but whatever. The flavor will be the same. Um, yeah, these are. <laughs> this one's like petrified. That's okay. And watching a little Gomez Pro while we grub on way too much sushi. Okay, I'm not sure about these. So. I don't know if this is a crab or cream cheese one because they were basically the same. This is almost like this, I don't know, like a crab cake inside. They're weird. I don't know. I'm not feeling them. But I had to try it. That was way too much food. Oh. It's not like I just left a sushi restaurant in over eight. But it is sushi, so within like 30 minutes, I'll be hungry again. I'm about to shower and go to sleep. It's day three on a Monday. Um, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but the cool thing is, is because we have access to this course because the pros are gone. They did leave it set up like it was for the pros. So we get to play it exactly as is, FBOTs and all. And taking home the win in Intermediate Women this weekend. Taking home the trophy and 70 smackers. Let's give it up for Kelsey Sweeten. Congratulations, Kelsey. She said that was her first speech.